Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. So, a little after 2 o'clock, 113, 2016, 35.6 degrees. And this time stamp and temperature was brought to you by Calvin. I think what we'll do is we'll just, uh, 2 degrees, 51% humidity. And the moon's starting to get back again. Um... Got the old infrared going, and if you go up by the ceiling, it's nice and warm. But uh, down here where I am, uh, not doing so good. Um, it's about 30 degrees outside, so I managed to get a couple of degrees up, but not much. You guys remember this bike? This is, turns out, it is 70 cc's, right, 72 cc's. Um... And it's the China bike, so you guys will recognize it. Um, decided to break into it and figure out what's going on with it, so I could do one of two things. I can either junk it or fix it. Um, I really kind of like this motor from an automatic electric start point of view. I think it would really be great on the Cushman. Um, I think... If I take the rear end and flip it over, and that'll that'll make it so that, um, or actually not flip it over, turn it around, turn it 90 degrees. I think that'll make it so that um, I'll be driving it in the right direction. I think. Don't know. Or what I might have to do is have this go to a jack shaft and then out. Um, typically motors turn this way and this turns this way so I'm probably going to have to end up jack shaft putting a jack shaft on it or something but um, just quickly working on these things uh, really more or less a piece of cake you got two bolts here um, two bolts here right two on the other side and then there's a couple up front here and the plastic comes right off. Um, don't forget to unplug your wires. And don't forget to take off your gas cap. So, plastic's off. Um, getting the cover off. Once again. Not that big a deal. A few 8 millimeter. And the cover comes off. Um, take note. It's got, um, I don't know, a flywheel surrounded stator. Let's call it that. Um, there's your little pulser there. This um, triggers the pulser. Right. And that's how you get your spark and your AC. And... That stator powers the ignition. That one powers your uh, your battery and so forth. So it's actually um, pretty cool. Little timing chain there, right? Starter turns the timing chain, turns the whole thing, and it's got a um, see, it's got a clutch on it, so to speak. So once it's running, you're not constantly turning the starter. Um, and this thing goes so far and stops. And if you turn it the other way, it goes so far and stops also. So what's wrong with it? Turns out this is water seized. Water seized means... Somebody didn't take very good care of it. Water got into it and seized up the affair. Um, what am I going to do about it? I think I'm going to be frugal on this one. What I need to do is finish taking. I have to take the engine off. Then I think I'm going to clean up the bore. I'm, I'm going to do a sloppy job on this. I'm going to clean up the bore. 
I'm going to clean up the rings and hopefully they're going to free up. Hopefully they're not messed up too bad. And I'm going to slam it all back together again and see if I can't make it run. So I'm going to do a wham bam job on this thing. Um, it's really not trivial because I got to finish taking it off. Looks like one, two, is that it? Just two. Yeah, well, just two two bolts hold the engine on. I guess it's only 70 cc's. I mean, what is that? A couple of two, three horsepower? Anyway, so I'm, um, I'm going to obviously drain the oil. I'm going to pull the engine. I'm going to clean up that bore. And I'm going to see if I can't um, get this thing fired up. What I also want to do with this bike, I also kind of want to use it as the test jig for that other China engine I bought, the um, 125. I think, don't know, I think it'll squeeze underneath here. I mean, obviously, I got the head jacked up, right? So, But um, I think I can squeeze it underneath this thing. And if I can, in fact, do that, that'll be a good way of getting that thing fired up and seeing what's going on with it. For the um, for the Cushman, the 48 Cushman, my thoughts are, and um, I'm open to suggestions, but my thoughts are if I could get this engine, see how nice and horizontal it is, um, my thoughts are if I could get it under the hood um, and um, kind of hide the gas tank, it'll still look like an electric Cushman. These engines are fairly quiet. I mean, obviously, it's going to make some noise, but it's fairly quiet. And I have a better chance of sneaking it into a car show and riding it about um, if it's um, if if it if it looks like a stock Cushman and it's relatively quiet and so forth they might I, I might be able to get it get it in there generally speaking for the car shows in New York because everybody in New York likes to sue each other they don't allow um, gas powered stuff there was afraid that somebody's going to, you know, wind it up and smash into somebody and then there's going to be a lawsuit and whoever is holding the show, they're afraid they're going to get sued because they allowed the guy to bring whatever gas-powered item in and run people over. If it's electric-powered, um, though they are quieter and easier to sneak up on people with, I think I think they they're not as concerned about... Um, about one doing any real damage with them. I don't know why. If you go and watch like Jeff 2, Jeff 1, it's literally 2, J-E-F-F -F 1. He put a 48 volt electric motor in a um, 48 Cushman. And he's got that thing doing wheelies and donuts and all kinds of crazy stuff. So, um, anyway, I think I'm, I'm going to stop here. Relatively short video. So, the this is 70 cc's which is somewhat of a correction i don't think i told you guys it was 70 cc's i think i said it was 90 or 110 it's only 70 cc's um so that's correction number one um number two it's water seized so i need to um get the engine out finish taking the head off or the um the uh jug out basically the bore out clean that up i'll put it back together again and see if we can't make this thing go um there's a little bit more of the close-up of the welds and all so um probably 
if one wanted to do, oh, and, and you can see there's quite a bit of stress even down here. Probably if one wanted to do this right, what you would do is, is kind of fabricate a plate that literally covered all this, you know, through here, maybe curved, curved down to the outside of here, right? That, that would strengthen it up. All right, folks. I want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing. Remember to keep your feet down. Keep your head up. And, folks, please get out there and enjoy all your days. Don't let any of your time escape you because uh, once it's gone, it's gone. Um, you know, and a lot of people, um, not that you're dead when you're 60 or 70 or 80, but there's things you can no longer physically do. So that's one of the other reasons why I'm always making the comment to get out there and enjoy all your days. Because though you might still be fairly healthy, it might hurt to bend over and pick up one of these things and, you know, get it up on here or whatever. So make sure you get out there and enjoy your days. Thanks, folks. Bye now.